What's going on, man? I'm Levi Herb, Daddy Urban's president and CEO of Iron Squad Apparel. Today, we, um, we're going to go behind the scenes so I can kind of give you an idea on uh, the reason that I came up with Iron Squad Apparel. Uh, you're going to get a chance to meet some of the people that uh, get to the gym, get that work in, and they're a part of uh, Iron Squad Apparel because Iron Squad Apparel is just not a t-shirt or a hoodie or a hat. It's a culture and it's a movement. And as always, I want you to get to the gym, find some heavy shit, and lift it. The movement is real. What up? What is going on, man? It's Serve Daddy Street Royalty Magazine live on location right now. What up, Cuddy? What it do? Got to get a chance to get you down here so that we can get you in right now. You know, this is kind of... Uh, Part one, getting started. Since uh, since my sister said last time where your glasses at, when Brenda hop in there, <laughs> got my glasses on. All right. Hey, here um here. Let me get a couple things set up, y'all. Just let some people get tuned in and everything. We'll get things set up right now. Right now we down here with uh with Mr. Doors, and uh, we're gonna get into a couple of things. What's happening right now is whether y'all know it or not, you actually in the film we going live and filming right now so you know you actually kind of a part of the film being made so everybody that tuned in are definitely a part of the film so uh here listen hold on a second we're gonna get things moving what's up brenda i got my glasses on <laughs> okay um let me get everything pulled up over on this side and then we're gonna start talking about what's going on very nice setup you got here yeah yeah very appreciate nice. it yeah. appreciate it appreciate it appreciate it we live in the game right now i'm uh you know, we're getting a chance to see what's going on at the same time while we live. And uh, got here, what's kind of going to happen in the film is, uh, you know, I'm going to sit down. We're going to get a chance to sit down. I'm going to kind of go over, you know, uh, what brought Iron Squad Apparel, you know, to the table. And then we're going to talk about the people that wear Iron Squad Apparel and the different things that they get into on a day-to-day -day basis. So... Yeah, I'm going to go over here and start this other camera to roll it, and we're going to get deep into it right now. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Iron Squad Apparel, the film. Part of what's going on here. Listen, Andre, I didn't know Andre for a long time. He yeah. was out there building the wide body in the front yard. He'd come over on Sundays <laughs> and stuff, you know. So I've known him for a long time. But here, a lot of y'all don't got the pleasure of knowing him. So we're going to just talk about a couple of things that, uh, you know, in... in what brought him into? See, first of all, Iron Squad Apparel is not just a T-shirt. Iron Squad Apparel is a culture, and it's a movement. It's a fitness movement. So it's not just a T-shirt. Right. It is a culture, and it is a movement. It is a brand. It's the name of my company, Iron Squad Apparel. Now, here, Drake, talk to me about what brought you into fitness. What was the first things that brought you into fitness? Uh, I think I look back a lot of my family history. And I've seen that there were a lot of people in my family, relatives of mine, uh, who just, th their lifestyles were okay. very limited due to their health. Okay. And, you know, people always want to say, well, it's genetics or, you know, it's, you're predisposed to these type of things that, you know, uh, that limit. Really, for I feel, you live in a full life. Okay. So I just, you know, I'm a very defiant person. So I go, okay. you know what, though? I'm going to defy those genetics. If that's what they think, you know, you're predisposed to, Okay. I'm going to blow that myth out the water. So, you know, I just figured that, and I, I realized this too, is like a lot of the things that they say, well, it's genetic this, or you, your bad genes, and it's like, it's really a lot of bad habits. Okay. That's okay. being passed down from generation to generation, especially like, oh, if your grandma, you know, like mine did, oh, she did, you know, she made butter roll and, all types of little it. Know it. peach cobbler, it. Right. which is good right. and everything like that. Sure. And, then, you know, and that's cool, but when you eat it all the time, you know, right. so, for, you know, it was big meals every Sunday. Right. Big meals on Monday. Mm -hmm. big, so it's like, so when you came into consciousness, it's like, you know what, though? Well, this might be why the reason my aunt has diabetes and gotcha. her kids have diabetes. Because gotcha. they're all, you know, I hate to say it, you know, but their aesthetic is all kind of the same. Gotcha. And you're gotcha. like, man, you know what, though? I think 
Mm-hmm. It's got to be in the food. Got to be in gotta the food. Got to change the food. So, you know, I, 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 and on top of that, too, for me, I guess, I mean, I've always been kind of an active person. I've been doing martial arts since I was like a small kid and okay. uh, basketball, running. You know, gotcha. we, back then, man, we didn't just sit on iPads and, you know, sit in our rooms and, we went outside, played football, right, played right. basketball, ran around, you know, played baseball, stuff like that. Ran, I, you know, you raced on the street, you know, right. and stuff like that. So it's like, uh, it was just different for me. And like, and as I got older, I'm like, you know, I, you just look around and I started seeing the people around me. It's like, I don't want to end up like that. And I right. know there had to be a, a better way. Right. So it's like, uh, the fitness thing started off, you know, I started, I joined a small gym and started going. And next thing you know, it transformed into it's Iron Squad. Right, right, so right. It's transformed right. to that lifestyle, man. That's Iron up. Squad, baby. That's what that's what we're that's saying. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know, everybody kinda come into uh everybody kinda come into fitness or whatever for their own reasons, you know. Um I I come up under my uncle Michael, you know, Uncle Mike Brown and uh, you know, he boxed. Yeah. You know, so that's why I got boxing from myself. But um here, we ain't gonna get into me. <laughs> yeah, we gotta stay right here. We ain't gonna get okay, into me. All right, all right. What's going on? Cause you know how we do. We'll talk and then we'll drift into whatever right there. Right. Yeah. But here, when we talk about fitness, we talk about the fitness movement. We talk about the different foods and stuff like that that's eating. But here, just just you on a normal basis. On on, on a normal. What, what's what's a normal day for you? Normal day for me. Uh, every day I'm up by like three three thirty. Okay. Uh, I do some small calisthenics in the morning before I, I go to work. I meal prep everything the night before, so all I gotta do is store everything in, you know, in my lunch box, and I'm out. I'm gone all day, work 10, 11 hours, whatever. I, then I go to the gym, I work right. out, you know, come home, take care of family, stuff like that. So you, so so here, yeah, I want to make sure I'm hearing this right. You get a chance to take care of the family, obviously. Yeah. You get a chance to to go to work, put mm -hmm. in 10, 11 hours at work, and you still make sure that you take time to get to the gym. And get that workout in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a priority. And it has to be. I mean, gotcha. put like this. If they say the best investment is you put it to yourself. Right. Well, what's the best investment about yourself is your health. That's right. I don't care. You can have a bill. You can be worth a billion dollars. Right. And if you can't walk from here to the end of the driveway, what good is that billion dollars? Right. I mean, right. you look at the most successful people on the planet. Look at uh, Bill Gates. Look at... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Richard Branson. I mean, these you see these older gentlemen. They're out there kayaking and white water. Right, and, right, right. And, I mean, these life. guys are well into their fifties and sixties. And I mean, you see them like you know jet skiing and right. you know and they're on the Alps. You know, actually mm -hmm. cross country skiing and, and what have you. I mean, what whatever lane that they're in. Right. But it's one of those things where man, you can have all the money in the world if you don't have your health, you're not really going to be able to fully enjoy. It. Absolutely, absolutely. So, and the liver, you know, here as we know, to live a healthy life, you know, it's just, like you said, it's not just about having the money, being able to go out and buy different things that you like. It's being able to be healthy enough. One of the biggest things is, uh, one of the bigger things is, and, and my thought is, when, when you got kids, you know, you got young yeah. kids right now, I got yeah. a young kid myself right now, is being able to, uh, you know, 10, 15 years from now, still being able to perform, if not better than the way you perform in, right now so you want to stay in health so that you can get out there and, uh, and have right. fun with them and stuff you got, like you gotta that. gotta keep that in mind also absolutely so i mean i got a three-year-old yeah and a five-year-old right i'm 40 years old right and right now there will not be a day probably till they throw dirt on me right they're not gonna outrun me right they're not gonna outlift me absolutely you know and on top of that too man i got a five-year-old daughter mm -hmm. so i gotta make sure i'm able to Crack somebody upside the That's head right. That's for right. at least another thirty years. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So I know whoever guy she ends up with, I'm like, he can have my seal of approval for at least five years, so I don't, I don't have to kill him. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. All you guys out there with daughters, you know how it is. Absolutely. I yeah. got one myself, and I'm telling you something, but I got to stay ready so I don't ever have to get ready That's because right. if somebody come in it the wrong way, problem. I'm yeah. right, we know this already. Door, same thing. We playing around. Um, so here, when you in the gym, you know we go to the gym all the time. You see, uh, you see some incredible things in the gym sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You see some yes, incredible yes, things yes. in the gym sometimes, man. And uh, you know, everybody kind of got a program, no matter what you got. Somebody, you know, they may feel like they pro. What, what what's what's kind of like your um, what's your program? <sighs>
in your program where you see your max results? Okay, well, I'll go like this. I think first off, if I had to give some advice to, to people, right, everybody out there, number one, you have to have a goal. Right. Because everybody has different fitness goals. Some people mm -hmm. just want to lose weight. Right. Some people just want to be strong. Mm -hmm. Some people want both. Right. You know, some people just, you know, want to have the endurance, mm -hmm. speed, or whatever. Or and some people, I'm one of those type of guys where I just want to be very well-rounded. Right. You know, I want to have the strength, mm -hmm. the endurance, mm -hmm. the aesthetic, the speed, right. or whatever. It's like, I, I want to make sure I'm well-rounded. And that may not work for some people. Like, right. you got power lifters, and what they're worried about is get, putting on mass and being able to lift huge amounts of weight. Right. And then there, you have common lay people out there. The only thing they want to do is, you know, they're a little, you know, uh, uh, on the opposite side of on the opposite side of where they want to be right now. So okay. they want to slim down or whatever. Sure. sure. So it's like, you know, uh, I think everybody has different goals. But for me, I go into the gym. Every day is different on what I do. Uh, I try to cardio every day. Okay. Again, too, because I like to have that slimmer, athletic, you know, aesthetic look or whatever. So right. cardio every day. Uh, every day, strength train some different type of body group, okay. compound, uh, tricep or whatever, uh, or superset or tricep. Okay. You know, uh, different body parts, man. Make sure the whole body gets worked all every day. Yeah, so. You know what? I had one drill sergeant and said, "I'll tell you something, man. I ain't become a drill sergeant for no reason. I'm in fucking shape." Right. Yeah. You know? Oh, and they're running it down. It was a guy. I can't remember his last name, but he said, "You know what? I'm gonna run." This, I'm going to run you until you shit on yourself. We was in basic training. So I'm going to run you until you shit on yourself. He ran us like like savages, and he had a rucksack on. And a, um, wow. he had a rucksack on and a, um, what do we call those, um, and, and a flight vest on. He ran us, and he said, until one of you dudes shit, we're going to run, 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 and run. Dude named Cortez from New York. I'll never right. forget him. Cortez started shitting all down the back of his pants, man. And uh, he ran us back to the barracks. He shit all the way back up to the barracks. He said, you guys are done. Thank Cortez, the shitter. And that's what the... <laughs> <laughs> last question I got for you right yeah, here. Sorry. Our last question right here. We already know where your fitness goals are right now. If you had to give... If you had to give... Uh, if you had to give somebody the... The, the best advice for... You know, for, for keeping their cells. Let's say, just say somebody, you know, wants to go to the gym. You know, they're they new to the gym. They're worried about coming in there, worried about people looking at them that are uh, bigger and stronger than they are. You know, what, 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 what kind of advice would you give to, to that person? Well, first thing I would say is, um, number one, you can't care. If you're there, if you go to the gym, you've already made a concrete effort. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's concrete evidence that you're there. Right. So, uh, and you can't, and I think, I think one of the biggest things or mistakes a lot of people make is you can't compare yourself to anyone else. Right. You can't compare yourself to the guy who's been doing this 10, 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. You can't compare yourself to the guy who's been doing this two, three, or four, or five days. Okay. You know, so it's like right. you set your goals, you know, and, and, and hopefully you go to a place where you find inspiration. Okay. You know, in, in whatever uh, gym you go to. But as far as, like, I mean, if there's guys out there, and usually you can tell who's even serious or not. Because a, a serious, someone who's very serious uh, with their with their fitness, mm -hmm. the last thing they're going to do is down another person. Right. Correct. That's that's the last thing they're going to do. Because, honestly, they're going to want to pass their knowledge down. You know, like, for example, you see somebody, you know, we've, like, like you said before, we've seen it. It's a tricep, you know, tricep press machine. Right. The guys doing like some type of monkey bar, Spider Man <laughs> thing, and no, and everybody's just looking around like, you know, like, <laughs> what's up? So I mean, right, like, right, it's right. funny. And as soon as you get the laughing, you walk right. up to them, hey, look, you know, look, I, you know, I'm not trying to come at you the wrong way. But right, right. That's wrong. Right. And you're going to either tear the equipment up or hurt yourself. Absolutely. And you don't want to see either. Absolutely. And I think that's the one of the biggest things, man. I think one of the biggest things is when you have the knowledge, you want to pass that along. Especially, you see people, man, like, you know they're struggling mm -hmm. and what have you. And, you know, or you, you want to just help give them that encouragement, that extra push. You right. know what I'm saying? They're like, struggling through a set. You right, know, right, right. You know, give them that extra push, man. And, like, uh, I mean... It, that's what it's all about. It you is. Know, fitness is a community, and I think most people in the in the fitness community, uh, in the, in that culture, they're all trying to help each other elevate to the next to, level. to the next level.
to the next level. That's it. I don't think he could have been said any better than that right there. Now, Mr. Doris is a busy man, obviously, but uh, he, you know, he took some time out of his day to come down here, uh, you know, for us to, you know, get some insight on, on some of his thoughts again. This is Herb Daddy, Levi Herb Daddy Urban is the uh, owner and president of the brand. Uh, what up, what up, what's going on with you, what's going on, Urell, I ain't seen you in a minute. Um, we got there really early this morning, we got there really early to get it in this morning. Normally I'll catch you a little bit later on down the line, but definitely got to get in contact with you. That is a brother that stays fit right there yes, too. Yeah, yes, He stays fit for sure. Definitely, uh, works they, hard. They no doubt about it, you always get that. Came in sick in yesterday. Yeah, you, came get, you know what, I actually came in one day on, uh, normally I don't go on Friday, you know, right. they all, normally I don't fall in there on Friday, but I fell in there one Friday, he was in there that Friday, we got it in pretty good there, you know, we posted up, he was like, yeah, other people out partying on Friday, we in here getting get that in. work in the gym, so get he, in. he definitely get that work in. So, uh, here, listen, if you want your Iron Squad Apparel, man, reach out to me, hashtag Iron Squad Apparel on Facebook. Uh, hashtag Iron Squad Apparel on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And as always, get to a gym, find some heavy shit, and lift it. Lift it. We out. We out. Big pistols, more money, more problems, more lawyers for more charges. Still managed to keep my name on the DL. Daddy was a hustler, he copied multiple 312s. Reached the surface, I emerged from the deep wells. With big tools in the shell besides the seashells. Take your bitch niggas to school like an institute. And like a student, nigga, gotta respect the principal. And if he don't, then I'ma show him what a pistol do. Pay attention, boy, this shit ain't that difficult.